Okay, this is my most recent eBay purchase. This and two Marvin Screen fans, which all came from the same seller. Two different auctions, though. They came in the same box. Uh, this is a probably 1970s Montgomery Ward 12-inch uh, box fan. It is a really made by Hunter. I found a Hunter EXL branded box fan version of this on eBay but it was $45 this one was like 20 this one needs some work um, certainly not in the best shape in the world but it's certainly not bad now the handles a little bent I don't know what that's about uh, the switch is missing the knob and the in the shaft and while I could fix that I don't have a knob and a post to fit that switch so I figured you know what Instead of uh, trying to fix that switch, I'll just replace it. So I bought a switch on eBay, a little turn switch, and now the sticker up here is pretty shot. Um, that won't really apply anymore. I I'll still leave it on, but I bought a little three-way switch. It's it'll be off, high, and low. It's a two-speed fan. It's got a GE motor on it. It's got you know, made by Hunter. It's got the seven-blade Hunter uh, design. Which is the same design blade the Galaxy or Lasco used, very similar uh, to the one they use on their 12-inch box fans. Uh, the whole fan's very similar. Some differences, but all in all, it's a very similar fan. Uh, blades are a little yellowed, and unfortunately, because they're slightly, it must have been used in a window or something. And I lost my tiny little flashlight and I, I just had two minutes ago. I didn't lose it, it was just hiding from me. Um, this fan has the infinite, infamous uh, white plastic problem that I like to call it, where it yellows and the plastic starts to dry out and chip apart. The same thing happened to the Eastern Electric uh, fan. I had the little the little uh, nine inch oscillator, the back cover. This blade is doing the same thing. You see it's kind of yellowed and it's a little chipped up. I mean that's not a big deal. The blades are still flexible though. It's just the, f the top layer of plastic is starting to chip. But this fan's not going to be perfect. There's some paint on Somebody repainted the inside of it. Uh, did an okay job. Uh, it runs, I'll start it up. It does need oil, so it runs a bit slow, but it does run well. You can see, here's the back. It's got a GE motor in it. It's been repainted. There's some dirt and stuff trapped under there, but I'll clean it up. Uh, whoever repainted it ended up repainting the blades a little bit, too. Okay, I don't know if it's going to show up. See, the blades are a little, a little bit dried out. I'm going to have to pull the blade off clean it, oil the motor. I'll plug it in for you in just a second. The plug's actually in the cords in good shape. It has the original stand. It's got the original plug and cord on it. It's the same one that's on one of my uh, west clocks, wall clocks. Let's plug this in. This is high. It's gonna run slow though at first. But it's very quiet once he gets up to speed. It's quite a bit of air. It's not going to be a perfect fan, but it'll certainly be a good fan to use. Kick around the house. It goes faster than that. Uh, I'll give that a couple minutes to warm up. I figure while the Hunter is warming up, I'll show the two Marvin screen fans I also got. This one's a little bit of a newer one. This one's probably an 80s model. And it needs some oil, but it does run fine. After plugging it in and letting it run for a few minutes, it does run once it worked in. Uh, yeah. 
So I'm gonna just start this one up. This one does have the switch still. The other one, I'll explain the other one in a minute. It has a polarized plug. So it's a little newer. There's on. Oh, they're still doing this little thing over there. Working up, it's starting to all of a sudden just work. And this one, after running for about five minutes, it will get to full speed. But I don't feel like waiting that long. And the other one is an older model from the 60s. We'll go back to the Hunter in a few minutes. I'm just letting it figure out what the hell it's doing. This one I just cleaned. The green one I didn't even clean up yet. This one I did. I replaced the cord. The original switch I have, I have to clean it up. Um, this one needed a little bit more work. So I started with this one. Uh, I can show you the sticker. Here's the sticker on this one. Here's the sticker on this one. Notice how it says 60 cycles and not 60 hertz. This one has an older design blade. It has a slightly different motor in it. The same motor, but a little older design. A little older version. It's got a brand new cord on it from the box of clock movements, I brand new clock movements I have, there's a couple of wires floating around there that were lopped off the movements, that are, they're sunbeam movements that I have to rebuild I figure I'm not going to rebuild all of them, I'll just steal one of the cords off of out of the box, it was lopped off of one of them before I even got it so I'm like, eh, why not so there's no switch on this one right now the original switch is full of oil because all the oil leaked down the original cord the cord was just yellow with oil and dirt and it leaked into the switch. Here is on. Powerful, I think, than the other one. Uh, this one I had to do a little work with. It was actually having a problem with the. I'm gonna lose my finger at this damn thing. With the screen hitting it. So I just put these uh, four little pieces of wood in just to keep the blade away from the screen. A little felt washer down there. I'm really gonna lose my finger with this. It has a little hole in the screen there. Oh, no, not bad. Okay. I'll make a, another video of the screen fans once the other one's all done. Now to get back to the Hunter. The uh, original, the one, the good one. Yeah, I can't talk tonight, I'm really tired. Has a Gilbert plug, Gilbert switch on it, which are pretty common. I think this is the same switch that's on the old 60 or 1971 Galaxy window fan. Okay, let me get these put away and go back to the Montgomery Wards. I do have to say, out of the two Marvins, the older one is actually noticeably heavier. Now back to the Hunter. It's been running for a little while, probably five minutes or so now. Close to ten. It's moved a good amount of air. It's actually very quiet. It's actually a very well balanced fan, even though the blade is slightly uh, wobbly, as you can see. That's normal. I can smell the motor's a little warm. Not in a bad way, I can just smell the grease in it. I think that's high. And that seems like high. It moves a lot of air for its size. It's very quiet. I can barely hear it. Seven bladed fan. Uh, box fan is very quiet. Yeah. I. I'm gonna start it. Uh, turn on, bring it back in. The room so I can unplug it actually. The spin down time, which I think is high. I assume that's high that it was running on. I don't know if there's much of a startup, but I'm gonna try to do that. I don't think this one has much of a startup sound, but it's worth a shot.
yeah, this will get a uh, a new switch, and it'll have a new video once I have the switch replaced and it all cleaned up. I'm gonna carefully clean the blades on this one, like I said, because the plastic is a little bit on the deteriorated side, but not that bad, obviously. If it was that bad, it would have the one of the blades would have broken off. I had a fan like that. It was a Duracraft pedestal fan. I turned it on for the first time. It ran fine for oh about 30 seconds. One of the blades came flying off, and it didn't just fly. When it flew off, it didn't just hit the. It wasn't even fully. It wasn't even 30 seconds. It was like five or 10 seconds. It started to wobble a little bit. I turned it off. I turned it back on. It was start. It was getting up to speed. It wasn't even full speed, and the blade just flew off, and it literally just cracked apart the second it hit the cage so the blade just do shot this one certainly isn't that bad I've, I have an Air King uh, 16 inch table fan with this problem way worse actually and another fan like that it has a problem the blades are dry rotted on a little bit oh yeah a uh, white Westinghouse pedestal fan which I believe is made by Paragon I'm not sure Anyway, so this will be another video once it's all cleaned up. These just come apart easily. Like you literally can just, I could probably just pull it apart right here. Basically, you just pull, it, push this down. It's just one big clip all along there, and it comes right out. Makes it easy to clean. This is gonna be a nice one once I clean it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry it was a bit of a long video. I'll make part a uh, separate video for this in the Marvins. Oh yeah